Hello, welcome to Markets with Megan. I'm Megan Horneman, the Chief Investment Officer for Verdant's Capital Advisors. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the housing data we've seen this week. Um, we got two different housing indicators. We got existing home sales as well as new home sales. It was really a mixed picture. If you look at the existing home sales, they fell much more than expected. Um, they're at the lowest level that we've seen now since January um, of this year. The, the basic um, driver behind that has been higher interest rates. The mortgage rate is now at the highest level that we've seen since the 2000s. Um, that's actually December of 2000. And at 7.3%, it's putting a lot of pressure on um, home buyers of existing homes, as well as those people that don't want to um, give up their low mortgage rates that they've had um, over the recent years. So we have an inventory issue still with existing home sales, but on the new home sales side, they did rise better than expected. So you're seeing this kind of pattern where um, the existing home sale market is very, very tight. Um, the new home sale market is the only avenue that people can turn to. Um, unfortunately, prices are rising there, um, so it's making affordability weaker. And um, it's not a it's not a completely broad based increase in new home sales. It's actually only been led by two regions um, of the four. Uh, the Northeast and South actually saw a decline for the month. So, a big picture: housing still is f- um, struggling with a higher a higher interest rate environment, as well as an inventory um, a tight inventory. And we'll continue to see how this weighs on consumer sentiment as well as the economy as we go into the second half of this year. Any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to podcasts at verdens.com. Thank you.